I can go I'll write it and we'll do it live. So this time, a setup that's a little a little different but, but similar in a lot of ways is me looking instead of a lateral sumigation, what I want to do is I want to start to lean straight back and get my partner's weight directly over me so we're not turning laterally. And then from here, what I'm doing is I'm cross gripping the armpit and grabbing the leg here. So now all I want to do is turn my body over 90. So if I turn my head past his hip line, closer to his knee, nothing stops me from locking on. Again, we land in a beautiful pitch perfect double trouble position where we can start to attack the, the, uh, the primary leg, which is in this case his left leg. And it's easy. Let's go over breaking mechanics again quickly. We cross grip the heel. We, I see a lot of you guys, I'm watching you last class, going super deep and getting that heel slippage. Make sure that you're going thumb in on the heel, palm to palm, and that we're retracting our elbow in. So before my elbow even hits the ground, his, his knee should snap from there. So brutal, but yeah, that's, that's kind of where it should, should be again. again. I find this to be a really, a really good option. It doesn't work that well if he sits sit back on your heels. So I want you to identify where this is a little flawed. If he's super defensive here, obviously sumigashis are a better option. So we have options, we go lateral. But if maybe if he's a little bit more middle plane where he's kind of leaning over his calf, not his heels, or even if he starts kind of drawing into me, there's a perfect option to go flat on your back. Think of your back as like the, um, the bottom of a rocking chair. So now when I, rock, I get him above me, I don't go cross collar here. I go underarm, that's the difference from our last move. My left hand scoops underneath, and then I make sure that I'm moving more than 90. From here, nothing stops me from extending, locking up the far leg, and easy access to a cross heel, to a tight thumb in bite on the heel. And then look at this, elbow in, to line up with the foot, guaranteed tear up the knee. I wanna see it one more time. All right, guys, this is the last time. Last time, literally, last time. So again, this still needs to be born out of some sort of upper body control. I can't just, just make, make him elevate above me. So I have to go two on one. This is one of the better options. And I immediately come in, I lean him directly over me. Really good stuff, right? Now, I cross grip, I look for that cross knee, and I make sure that I get my hips past my knee. From here, nothing stopping me from tying him up, blocking the far leg, and immediately looking to bite. Thumb on the heel. Thumb on the heel, toe up on the bicep. Guaranteed break. All right, guys, let's try that on three. One, two, three. This thing sucks!